Hi, in this video I'm going to talk you through uh, the different kinds of maths that are offered in BL6. Uh, there are four different math subjects that we offer in the sixth form um, and so hopefully what I'm going to tell you here is going to direct you to the correct video below and um, where you can find more details out about that subject. Uh, one thing that I will say before we get going properly is that mathematics is a popular subject in the sixth form so the A-level in maths is one of the most popular subjects uh, each year which we're really proud about. Um, we've also got um, the majority of our students studying some kind of maths, whether it's uh, one of the A-levels or core maths, um, which again uh, is something we're really pleased with. Um, so that means that the students in BL6 uh, on the whole either understand that maths is an important subject in its own right, uh, or a subject that's going to help them to move on to the next step um, in their lives. So either supporting their other A-levels or supporting what they're going to go on and do when they leave us. Uh, so first of all, A-level maths. Uh, as mentioned, this is generally a really popular subject in the sixth form. Uh, we normally have several classes of A-level maths running due to its popularity. And um, this is what you would expect, I think, from um, studying maths uh, post-16. So it carries on exactly where GCSE uh, leaves off. You cover lots of the same skills. In fact, in year 12, uh, a lot of the skills are the exact same as you would do in the top end of the GCSE, but just push that a bit further, uh, as well as the introduction of new skills. Uh, as the course goes on but typically A-level maths students know what that is when they come to us um, and they typically either want us to do that because it supports their other subjects uh, or because they enjoyed maths uh, at GCSE. Further maths is a bit different so further maths is not possible to be studied uh, without also doing maths so all the content from A-level maths is a prerequisite knowledge for the A-level in further maths and um, so for some students and for some university courses, the single A-level in maths is not enough. They need to have more mathematical knowledge. Uh, and so for those students for whom that applies further maths, uh, allows them to study twice as much maths as they would do normally, cover twice as many mathematical concepts and skills. Um, but what's important is that they are different. So they're not doing all the same things. The skills do complement each other, um, but they are more skills. Uh, they're not necessarily more difficult, and the main difficulty with further maths is that you need to know all the maths content to cover it. Um, but it is further. It's not necessarily more challenging. Uh, the next two subjects are not A-levels. So typically our students take three A-levels or in some rare instances four A-levels. Uh, core mathematics is not one of those. So people tend to either take EPQ or core maths or uh, another option that I'll show you in a second um, alongside their A-levels. So some subjects ask you to take core maths. So you might see core maths mentioned uh, for instance, on the A-level psychology page or on the biology page, um, because some subjects have got a really high uh, maths content. Um, and if you don't take A-level maths, you will need some kind of maths to help you to cope with the demands of those subjects. Uh, so core maths is a response to that. So it's not an A-level. Uh, it's not as demanding as the A-level in maths. And the focus in that subject is making use of maths in your other subjects. Um, so there's a lot of focus, for instance, on statistical uh, analysis, which is going to be used elsewhere in the sixth form. Um, so it's not necessarily about studying maths in its own right, like the A-levels, it's about maths facilitating uh, your subject elsewhere. But as I mentioned, the other subject areas will probably tell you that you need to take core maths uh, if it's one that is needed, but that should be pointed out on their different areas. Uh, the final subject that we offer is called step maths. Uh, so I did mention that most students either take EPQ or core maths. Students can also take step maths instead. Um, this is uh, primarily aimed at the students that take further maths or the students who are hoping to go on to do maths at one of the top universities. So in this subject, we focus on preparing students for the Oxford and Cambridge entrance exams. Uh, there will be more details on one of the videos below, um, but this is one of the optional things you can take alongside your A-levels. It's not one of the A-levels itself. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, like I said, the, the link should be below uh, now that I've given you a rough overview of what to expect in the sixth form. Thank you very much. Bye.